uh, Des from Aerotray out here and I got a bit of tea. <laughs> like, I didn't go up and get some tea, I just drank some of it. This is tea from last night, but who cares? It's still cold somehow. Or at least maybe it's just room temperature and it seems cold to me. Who knows? Um, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I just filmed the video on kind of my journey of being Arrow. Um, and so this one is going to be about me realizing that I was ace. That I am ace. Both sets of the word. No. <laughs> I am lame, <laughs> um, but I am ace. <laughs> um, and ace is short for uh, asexual, just like how arrow is short for aromantic. And I am a very asexual person. I am also sex repulsed. And I guess um, I could explain that a bit later. Um, <laughs> so basically, this one doesn't come from me being young obviously <laughs> but so I didn't realize I was ace till my senior year of high school so that was and it was towards the end of my senior year of high school so four years ago um and yeah I I knew for about like maybe like earlier that year that it existed but I don't really know too much about it I just I think I'd sometimes see stuff on tumblr about it or I don't even know where I'd really heard of it because I mean it's not like ace people get representation like can I just say thank you about Jack Horseman <laughs> and then even like during the new season Todd even mentions people that are aromantic and it's like what Rep what representation what? I didn't know this could happen. <laughs> you know, um, uh, but yeah, I, my senior year, towards the end, I was really like, am I bi or am I ace? Because at the time, I thought that being ace meant being arrow ace, um, because at the time I didn't know I was arrow, you know. But I thought it meant being arrow ace. So I was like, no, but I think people are, like, cute and attractive, you know. Um, so it's like, am I bi? And then, like, I got corrected on it. Like, no, like, ace people can also be, can also have romantic feelings. Like, you're, you're thinking about being arrow ace. And it's like, what? So that's when I realized I was ace, not bi. <laughs> um, although after that, um... For a while, I just kind of went by Ace, and then I went by by Ace, although basically still Ace, though, unless, like, you asked me about, like, romantic attraction. Then I would say bye, and that kind of lasted till, um, I figured out that I was Arrow, which I figured out. I would say, I don't know, like, a year and a half later. Um... Yeah, it would have been about a year and a half later, I think, that was Arrow. Um, yeah, being Ace, I know it was at least easy for me to understand that I was Ace. Like, it was actually something that didn't really even come up to my mind. <laughs> because it's not like I really hung out with many people. And the people I hung out with, at, our, at my table at least, were actually the um, Goody Two Shoe Christians that were also into uh, theater. <laughs> so it's not like they were going, oh my god, like, Bradley, like, you know what we did last night? You know, it wasn't, it wasn't anything like that. <laughs> I didn't hang out with anyone like that. So, like, it didn't even come up to my mind um, that, like, because literally, like, that was just something that I didn't even think of, you know? It just did not cross my mind at all because I didn't experience that kind of attraction, you know? And then I kind of, like, if something like that, like, the whole, like, reading stories or something, it'd be like, man, like, this just seems so overplayed. Like, people don't actually think like that. Yeah, they do, Des. They, they do. It's called having sexual attraction. <laughs> like, honestly, I thought that, even with romance, I thought that it was, it is played up again, uh, um, a lot in, like, stories. But I thought it was, like, more played up. 
Um, with the sexual stuff, I thought that stuff was very played up. Um, and sometimes it is played up. I mean, if you're reading, like, a sexy story, like, reading some smut there, it's gonna get played up. But I thought that, like, all of it was played up, and it's not. <laughs> you know? Duh. <laughs> like, people do actually think about those things, Des. Um, um, but yeah, I just, it just never came to my mind, you know? Um until junior year of high school towards the end i was in a relationship with this guy for like a month um actually it didn't last a month it was like two days short from a month or something it was like three or two days short from it being a full month and he was a very sexual guy like that kind of really made me realize oh shit people actually do fucking think like this and it made me very uncomfortable um, just the kind of things that he'd say. Um, and then, like, obviously, like, things that happen, like, I, I think I did mention this in another video. Maybe? I think I've mentioned it on my Tumblr before. I might have mentioned it on one of my videos on here, like, a while ago? But I don't really remember when I would have. Um, I just think I have at one point. But, yeah, so, like, not to, like, get in, like, specifics, but, like, nothing, like, full-on happened or anything. Um, but just, it was very uncomfortable, and I forced myself through those situations because I thought that you were supposed to in a relationship. I thought that it would end up, like, feeling something instead of just, like, acting those two times. And, like, obviously, um, that's not a good thing, but I didn't even know what that asexuality, like, even existed back in junior year, you know? Like, I just thought, you know, and then, like, I fucking hated myself for it, and then I even questioned, is there something wrong with me? You know, because that is always the thing when it comes to, to people that are ace, like, they question, like, am I broken? It's the same with people that are arrow, too, like, for them, it's like, am I, like, a robot or something? You know, like, because there's no representation. So, like, you see things in, like, media, and it just kind of, you, you don't see yourself. So, like, I'm not like everyone else, so, like, is there something wrong with me? And there's nothing wrong with you, like, literally just society's fucking shit that it doesn't have the representation that people actually need, you know? Um, which is obviously why I want more representation, and I figure I, I at least maybe try doing that in video games or stories if I can finally, um, not have British Lock, um, <laughs> but yeah, just, I kind of put myself through those situations, um, and I know when the relationship ended, like, this is a bit more arrow. But, like, I was upset, like, not because I liked him, but because I didn't feel anything when it ended. Like, I didn't feel like that with him. Like, I thought that maybe I liked him, but I really didn't. I was just happy that someone actually liked me, you know? I'd only have, like, one more boyfriend before that. Um, and mostly we just kind of talked. Uh, I, he went to my, um winter dance with me once freshman year and that was basically everything that happened um we didn't even like kiss or anything i think the most literally that I, I did was i sat on his lap the one time because there was only one chair at the dance so that was it you know oh and then during like the um the one movie premiere um which was like afterwards because like oh sure whatever you know Take it up less seats, sure, I don't care. Um, but yeah, like, I just, I thought that, that, you, like, it was just kind of expected and something would end up happening. Um, but no, it didn't. And then, obviously, I didn't want to think about that for, like, a while. Um, the only one that I even knew was my brother. You know, until, like, probably be, like, a year and a half, two years ago now, would probably be like two years ago now, where like I told more people. 
Because, like, obviously there's a reason why I say I fucking hate him and I hope he dies. Um, <laughs> like, obviously, like, there's more to it than what you think. Um, if I'm literally, like, he could fucking die right now and I wouldn't give a damn. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, people would be like, what? <laughs> you know? If you just say that about, like, an ex and you thought everything was just fine and dandy. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. And then finally... Towards the end of senior year, I just kind of, it just, I started thinking about it again. Um, it had been, like, a year at that point that we had, like, broken up. And I just was thinking about it again. And then I was thinking, man, you know, I literally don't think about that, like, with anyone. Ever. So that was when I started to question. And then also, like, I think girls are cute. So that's why, like, the whole, like, the whole of my bisexual came into the, came into play. Um, but yeah, I just, I finally started thinking about it, and then I really delved in and was trying to, like, learn about it and stuff, which, for, yes, this is for math. Um, our last math project we had to do in that class was we had to research something that we didn't know anything about. Anything, anything we wanted that we didn't know anything about, and, uh, make a presentation on it. And so I did it on asexuality. Um... And that's what I talked about, was, was that. Um, since I think there was maybe only, like, two or three months left of school by the time that I had figured it out. Um, more like two months, I think, probably. I figured it out towards the end of the school year. And, yeah, I just, it, it completely clicked. It all made sense, you know? It's like, there's nothing wrong with you. And, it, and it, that kind of made it a little bit harder when it came to, like, the, the romantic kind of stuff. Um that I thought that I needed, which I mentioned in the, the, the Arrow video, because then I was questioning, well, who would want to be in a relationship with someone that's ace besides someone that's ace, you know, um, which I still don't know. I mean, like, I guess it would have been fine with, um, my friend that did actually like me <laughs> since I was very openly ace, <laughs> you know, like literally I'd be like, ace joke especially since we had this this one friend who i know like um ryan fucking hated but like he was friends with like our one friend so he kind of would hang out with us and he was really sexual so then i would like kind of play it off um and try to make it less awkward by by being like and eh, the opposite of you and he'd be like eh, opposite you know and it'd be like hey eh, you know um because it'd be, like, sexual, and then I'd be like, you know, but what if it's not, hey, because I'm ace, and you're not, like, we're the exact opposites, and you'd be, like, exact opposites, so, like, <laughs> I made a thing of it to, like, play it down, <laughs> but then also, like, have fun with it, too, you know, be like, hey, <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, and actually, I, then, like, I think Ryan thought that I was hurting someone, I'm like, no, I, I do that mostly just to play it down, because it's very uncomfortable, <laughs> like, talking about that stuff, um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it just, it makes it easier. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I guess maybe it could have happened, um, even, anyway, um, but yeah, I just was always questioning that, and then, of course, there was the whole Arrow thing. Um, obviously, being Arrow has very much more effect to me than being Ace. Ace put me in a situation that I really hope never happened. Well, twice, um, and made me question if I could be in a relationship, but, like, that also happened with being Arrow, and it was a lot, it was a lot more intense, like, I was very much more depressed over being Arrow than I was Ace. Ace would be more of, because I was already depressed, I would think about it, but it wouldn't just, like, spark any, any kind of, like, um, anxiety attack or something, you know, um, but being Arrow would. Um, being Arrow actually made me um, um, become very much more down again after I realized it. Um, but yeah, there isn't as much to say about being Ace. Um, I guess at this point I could just talk, like being Ace also is a lot easier to explain um, because it's just like with being Arrow. Um, it's like, well, you know, like, you, a straight girl, aren't attracted to girls, you know? Like, that's how it is for being, like, Arrow. Well, if you're not, like, you know how, like, you're sexually attracted to guys, but you're not sexually attracted to girls? Like, imagine not being sexually attracted to anyone. Like, imagine everyone in this world was a girl, you know? Like, it, it's a bit easier to explain, I think. Um, 
because obviously sexual attraction is very much seen and like you like it's obviously very much set in stone how sexual attraction is where with romantic attraction especially since romance is seen differently in different cultures you know it's a little bit um not as easy to to um, explain and understand um but yeah that's just being what a asexual means not sexually attracted to anyone um i know like i said bojack horseman like todd um he came to realize that he was ace started at the end of season three season four he like started delving into it and then there's some episodes in season five as well um that explored that and like honestly that like they did their fucking research like it is like i really like bojack horseman i don't really like adult like cartoons but i started watching it because i found out that oh my god it seems like todd's ace they just didn't say the word and then literally the next season they fucking said the word and then it's like and i watched that season when it came on netflix and then of course i watched five when it came on netflix and like that's actually a really good show um like it's actually really fucking good <laughs> um and yeah, um, that show just, it, it, it explains being ace very, very, very well. Um, obviously Ted, Todd is, um, is, uh, sex repulsed though. Um, and actually in season five, um, his friend literally kind of brings up, like, well, some aces aren't sex repulsed. Like, is there, is there any moving ground for you kind of thing? And then, um, he's like, hmm. And then, you know, he, he just changes the subject because obviously, like, he's very sex repulsed. <laughs> um, that was literally his whole, like, realizing that he was ace is because he's sex repulsed. And I keep mentioning sex repulsed because when it comes to myself, I am very sex repulsed. Um, and you could be ace. And, and the thing is, being, being asexual just means you're not sexually attracted to people. But you, you could like sex. I mean, sex is an act that, that, you know, gives pleasure, you know, um, you could have sex with someone and, and get something out of it that you're not attracted to, because you just, you just want to have sex or something, like, pretty sure other people do that, like, literally, um, and it can happen with people that are ace, because, like, like I said, like, it's your, you know, organs, and it makes you feel good, <laughs> I'm probably not explaining that very well because, like I said, I'm sex repulsed, so. But there are some aces that are, and just people in general that are sex positive, so they like sex. Like, they like it, it feels good, they are so for it. There are people that are sex neutral, which they're kind of like, mm, you know, if it comes up, you know, I wouldn't mind. That's, that's the sex neutral. And then there are people that are sex repulsed that, like, sex repulses them. Um, some people that are sex repulsed... It can be so bad. I've heard of people, like, literally, them just mentioning something sexual and they have to go and throw up because they just have it so bad. Um, and then, like, with some people, like me, I go from sex neutral to sex repulse when it comes to things that aren't related to me. Like, seeing something on TV or in a movie or something. It just depends on the day. Or when people are talking about it, it just depends on the day, really. Um... But there are some people that are sex repulsed where just hearing anything sexual, like, it just, it grosses them out, it repulses them, it makes them uncomfortable. And, like, those people don't, like, hate or look down at people that, like, like sex. Like, no, they just, it just, it bothers them, you know? Like, it just makes them uncomfortable. And I'm obviously sex repulsed when it comes to myself, so if anyone says any sex jokes, I'm gonna tell them, fuck off, no. Um, don't. And if they were to do it again, then obviously I would get really fucking pissed. <laughs> um, first time I'd probably calmly explain it to them because I'm that kind of person. I'm generally a nice person. Um, but if they were to continue, like, fuck no. Like, fuck off. I already fucking told you. You know? <laughs> I like swearing, so I'd probably be dropping the F-bomb quite a few times. I have no idea if you can hear the dog or not, but he is barking. Okay, he stopped. I don't know, maybe he wants to play. <laughs> um, and, I don't know. <laughs> There's two people out there that can play with them. <laughs> Mom and my brother. Um, but yeah, being ace is obviously a lot easier to explain. Um, I think that's really all that can be explained. Um, I guess the other thing I can mention is, 
some people, and I know it's in other countries, for instance, that, um, and just people that aren't as aware of being arrow, will use ace for both. Um, you could even use arrow for both if you really wanted to. Um, because you don't have to use the split attraction model if you don't want to. And the split attraction model, it was, um, created and, well, actually, like, the original split attraction model was created, like, back in, like, the early 1900s, the early 1900s, like, really early 1900s, um, by this one gay guy. I can't remember why he made it, but I know he made uh, a split attraction model. And then the one that we use, um, it is basically for people that are aromantic and asexual or on the spectrums. And it's just to help us explain our orientations better. Because not everyone that's asexual is, um, is aromantic. And actually, um, in, like I said in Season 5 of Bojack Horseman, Todd explains it very good. He said, because um, he was like, oh, like, like, you know, and his friend was like, what if there's like a dating app, you know, for aces? And then like the firefighter that she was dating at the time was like, why would aces want to date? And then so Todd explained the split attraction model like really well, like, like, boy, they did their research, you know? Um, he's like, basically, there are people that are A, romantic, and there are people that are B, aromantic. There are people that are A, that are sexual, and there are people that are B, that are asexual. And you could be A, B, you could be B, B, you could be B, A, you know? Um, and he's like, for instance, I'm A, B, you know? So, like, it just, like, that, because that's why you would mostly use the split attraction model, is because um, you're on the ace or arrow spectrums. And it just kind of helps people explain it more, because... Some people, you know, not everyone that's ace is aromantic, not people, not everyone that's aromantic is ace. So it makes it a, um, easier to explain. Of course, not everyone uses it, because some people will just, like, how I did, um, when I, for, when I realized I was asexual, I did not go by heteromantic asexual. And I know there are exclusionists that literally force the split attraction model on people. Literally, the whole idea is forcing it on people, even though they say that the split attraction model is trash and homophobic, and should just go away, but yet they're forcing it on people, like, <laughs> um, but, like, I identified as just asexual. I didn't identify as heteroromantic asexual, and I didn't start identifying as, as something with it, um, until, like, I started saying biromantic asexual, but again, I pretty much just ID as asexual, it's just, if you asked me about anything romantic, I would say biromantic, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, I wasn't expected as much, so, and people wouldn't have been, at, I, the only reason why, like, my mom, for instance, was surprised is because I, I used to make, like, a bunch of just sex jokes just, just because I thought it was funny, you know, like, 16, 17 year old is saying, like, 18 year old is saying jokes like, oh my god, Jack's butt is so cute. You know, like, I wasn't, like, really meaning it. I was just trying to get people to be like, what? You know, and then it'd be like, haha, you know, um, it was just my sense of humor at the time <laughs> that I would be like, mm, his, like, mostly it was about Jack's butt. <laughs> um, and Jack, I'm referring to, uh, Jack from All Time Loves with Jack Pack. I'd be like, mm, Jack's butt, you know, and it was like, it was just a joke, you know. Like, he is a very good-looking guy, um, but, like, literally about the mm with his butt, that was, that was a whole joke. <laughs> that was just me goofing off, so mom was like, what, you know, um. But, yeah, it, it's obviously not, like, um, not as surprising, it was more of, like, oh, what's that kind of thing, where with aromantic, it was, oh, what's that, oh, really? And then it would be kind of, like, surprise, um. And, of course, that's if the people, like, actually believe you when it comes to being ace and arrow. Because there are some people out there that just don't believe you. And even though you tell them you're not attracted to girls or guys or anyone, they're still like, oh, you just need to get a boyfriend. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, like, uh, like, this is how lesbians feel. <laughs> like, literally, like, you just need a good guy. <laughs> and it's like, no. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> you know? Um, but, yeah, anyway, that is basically just everything I can think of when it comes to me being ace, um, I know just with tarot, I did mention how, like, being arrow affects, um, me with tarot, 
I think the only thing it really affects me with tarot being ace would be obviously I don't really want to do any readings for anyone that deals with sex um it's the same with romance I don't really like romance readings but instead I kind of interpret them as just love readings um like exclusive relationship readings not really like a romance reading um I just kind of generalize it in my head <laughs> that like that's what they're that's what they want um without actually thinking romance because how am I supposed like the cards can tell me all they want but like it's harder for me to kind of give someone advice when it's something I don't experience you know um but ace like literally like you know <laughs> like I've camera died oh my screen is dark because <laughs> I get darker in here um but yeah I wrote down the last thing I was going to say um I guess I was going to talk about the the only other thing I could think of that would influence me reading um tarot a certain way because I'm ace is anything like um I guess kind of like certain cards like maybe like some some people read the devil as like bondage or something um stuff like that like anything that could come off as sexy time <laughs> i would not read it as such um and that's pretty much it i don't think i was going to talk about anything else i think i talked about everything um and apparently the camera's full too <laughs> so yeah i got like 34 33 seconds so Anyway, that is, um, it. Um, if you have any questions, as long as you're not being an asshole, I'll answer. <laughs> so, yes, anyway, I'm Des Tamara Tarot. This was my ace video, um, and I'm walking off, so bye!